Hi folks, in this video I will be talking about a quick path to making some passive gil in Final Fantasy XI. This could apply to Cat's Eye Crystal Warrior game mode, it could apply to Eden, Asomi, Wings, and some, to some extent a Horizon XI. This is basically just a path to get going on gardening cheap. You could also just buy 10 pots from an NPC for about 10 to 11k to get started on gardening, or you could follow this mini guide to make your own flower pots and get goldsmithing to around level 15 or so while saving a thousand gil or so against the cost of buying the flower pots. To start, you'll need to have gathered somewhere around 10 stacks of fire crystals and a few stacks of wind crystals. Step one would be to buy or farm up some copper ores to make copper ingots until you are around level four goldsmithing. Then use up those ingots with wind crystals until around level seven on copper hairpins. These will also be your first rank up item, so sell to the NPC all but one of them. Also, I recommend getting synth support to reduce your failures on your way up to level 8 or so. Then, step 2, make yourself about 3 stacks of brass ingots. Hopefully you have accumulated some zinc ores in your adventures. If you haven't, they sell for about 200 gil per brass ingot, so basically per synth per brass ingot. This will likely take you a little bit past the soft cap of level 9, and probably where the bulk of the cost is going to be. Step 3. Then with those brass ingots, use fire crystals on them to make brass sheets. The soft cap of those will be around level 11. So with those 3 stacks or so of brass ingots, step 4 is to make them into brass sheets, with also with a fire crystal. Once you have about 3 stacks of brass sheets, uh, that is a little bit more than what you need, but I just said three stacks just for just to be safe a little bit. Use a fire crystal in three of those brass sheets to make uh, ten brass flower pots. Since those have a soft cap about level 16, I would also recommend getting synth support here as well. I'm not sure what the rules are for all the servers mentioned above, so check the rules, but typically each character can have up to ten uh, pots for gardening each. Once you have all of your pots, I would recommend getting yourself to Ottergan and buying some wild grass seeds. That is a, um, an NPC stand right off of the boat before you actually enter Alzabi, before you sort of get past the little gate there. They have a pretty decent potential for NPCable results. I would say that a water crystal would be your best bet to use for feeding. Water crystals are also easy to get and not in demand for the most, uh, not not the most in demand for other crafting needs like a wind and fire are. Also, there seem to be the, the best potential results for the cost and the sacrifice of the crystal compared to light crystal, for example. Vomp and Zegum Carrots and Toko Peko Wildgrass all sell for 450-ish gil at an NPC, and Cupid Worms sell for 600-ish. However, you have to be thinking about the cost of the crystal used and other potential results you could get. For me, Water Crystal looks like the best results because, as you see here, Water Crystal results in Azuf Greens, Kaishal Greens, Saru Greens, and Toko Peckle Wildgrass. Not to mention the possibility for extra Fire Crystals, which everyone knows are highly desirable, for further crafting. Azuf and Saru sell for about 100 gil each at the NPC. But even the worst result of, of which is Gaishal, Gaishal Greens, they can be used to skill up your digging while on chocobos. That is another thing that you should do, because chocobo digging can be quite beneficial, especially uh, in a game mode such as the Crystal Warrior, where you can't use the auction house, you can't uh, do all sorts of things to get your items. Getting your items free wherever possible is what you should be thinking about for the Crystal Warrior. So in after all that, water is best in my opinion. So there you have it, thanks for watching. If you are interested in an awesome private server experience, check out Cat's Eye Private Server. If you sign up with the link in the description, we'll both gain special awards the further you go in your adventures. So with that, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.